morning everyone. Buddy here from the Denman Homestead. And we were actually kind of watching um, Tropical Storm Debbie and seeing what it was predicted to do turning up to towards Florida. And we saw another um, tropical storm, tropical depression uh, forming over by Cuba in the radar that showed that it would be coming towards Houston. Now we're still like over t or almost two weeks away from that so anything could happen with these um, predictions but either way take a look at take a look at uh, at what we saw here on the um, weather charts. So of course, when we saw that, um, we immediately were like, oh great, well we still have tarp on the roof and everything like that. Um, but, you know, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out if, if it happens, if it doesn't happen. We'll figure out what we need to do with the tarp on the roof and all that stuff. But I did want to make a video about something new that we got in um, that I'm gonna be adding to the barn. And that is a weather station. Check it out. So this is the same logic professional weather station. It has an alarm function for severe weather. It has um, a lot like super accurate. The reviews on it say that it's super accurate as far as everything that it tracks. So I figured we this would be great for the barn. Um, we have kind of a weather station in the house. It does not have severe weather alarm function and things like that. Um, but it has some stuff in the house. This has a lot more and it is black and white like the barn. So I figured perfect place for it. So I'm going to get this installed and uh, let's check it out. So a quick update on that model that I just showed. Um, it does look like the latest models show it dispersing, um, but it just kind of goes to show you, you never really know when you start looking at those future models, you don't know when it's gonna come to you, when it's not, if it's gonna make it, that kind of thing. But a lot of times during these storms, especially when it comes to wind speed and wind gusts, you'll see on the news what it is in your area, but having a power station, like the same logic weather station that we're installing today, having that lets you know what the wind strength and wind gusts are right here, like right where you're at. So that's uh, one great feature. But good news is as of right now, that model that you just saw, um, it looks like it has dispersed. We'll see if it stays that way. All right, let's see what all comes in the box. All right, we have instruction manual, a color setup guide, this is the display unit that we'll put inside the barn. Uh, this takes three AAA batteries for backup battery power not included. mounting bracket you can mount this thing multiple ways it's got multiple mounting brackets we're going to do the up and down mounting bracket since it's going to go at the peak of the barn mounting hardware power plug for the indoor unit and last but not least we have the weather station itself 
So we've got wind direction, rain, water, day and night sensor, a level to make sure that we're mounting it level, wind speed, and I believe this is a, a radiation barrier right here. So let's see what all we're going to be able to read on this weather station. It looks really cool. Oh, and a solar panel. Can't forget that. Uh, this takes three not included AA batteries for backup battery power um, when the solar panel is not enough. We're going to be putting this up high, so I'd recommend putting some good batteries in it. Um, just so you don't have to climb up there and change them. Yeah, so this on the bottom, this is the thermo hydro sensor with a radiation shield around it. Okay. Alright, here is all the things that this sky tracks. Keep in mind there's indoor and outdoor. Humidity, temperature, moon phase, um, light, time, the weather tendency uh, indicator, alarms, wind direction, wind speed, wind speed gusts, and wind speed averages, rainfall, air pressure, yeah, rainfall and air pressure. That's, that's actually quite a bit of stuff uh, for this weather station, so. All right, we get some batteries thrown in there. Um, I'm gonna get this mounted on the barn. All right, when you first turn this on, it's got a set button on the side right here. We can press it and hold it. And it's gonna let me set all my settings. So 12 hours, yes. Time. Date. And you can change it with the, this is down and this button. Channel plus is up. So I've already gone through and set all this. I just wanna show you how you can get all this set up. Miles per hour is what I want, Fahrenheit is what I want, inches for rain, and there you go. Right now the temperature is reading indoor outdoor the same because we've got both things sitting right here next to each other. But the setup on this, that, that was super quick as far as getting all your settings set up. That takes like no time. Okay, outdoor part is mounted, um, pretty high up, it's bright, right up there on the peak, there it is, looks good, matches everything in the barn, so I'll show you what I did to the inside part. Okay, so I've got the inside display just kind of temporary up on the wall. And there it is. It is taking a little bit to, uh, I think, adjust the temperatures because 
This has been dropping, but it still shows 86, and it's not 86, it's 74 in here right now, but it's been going down since I mounted it, so it's just taking a little bit to adjust the indoor and the outdoor. But, I mean, it's actually pretty, uh, it's crazy how accurate it is, because I poured some water through the rain gauge just to see if it would pick it up as like a test, and it did, 0 0.02, it picked up the water I had poured through it, poured through it, which is pretty awesome. Um, not seeing anything on wind yet, which there's like hardly any wind right now. Anyway, it does show we've got a southeasterly wind, which is pretty cool. But yeah, this is pretty awesome. I have not gotten into setting the alarms, but that's kind of what I want to do next. You can set wind speed alarms, rainfall alarms, temperature alarms, all that kind of stuff. There's so, when you go through the book, there's like 30 different alarms that you can set on this guy. So right now we've got, I, I went ahead and reset everything just to make sure it was like a fresh slate. Um, 1.6 mile an hour winds, average 1.1, 1 .1. uh, no rain obviously. Southwest wind, 91.5 outside, 56%, 57% humidity, um, and then 72 inside. Now this is, this image is kind of like an image representing what the weather is like outside. So sunny with clouds, uh, which is exactly how it looks outside. So this is, Pretty cool. Um, again, like I said, there's lots of alarms you can set up on here. Once the wind hits a certain speed, you can have an alarm go off. Once the rainfall hits a certain amount, you can have an alarm go off just to let you know. Um, you can also download an app for this. Uh, you have to create an account on wunderground.com. You create an account. <clears throat> Once you have that account, you can register your device and uh, get the updates or monitor it from your phone as well. But this display inside the barn is actually just, it's perfect. You know, this is not where it's gonna stay because this is an area we have a, for a TV, but for demo purposes, uh, for right now, while we're working in here, uh, you can see right here, it's got a pretty good connection. So even though it's in a metal barn, and it's all the way on the roof peak on the other side of the barn. It's got a good connection to the weather station. So this little weather station is pretty awesome and I'm very, uh, very impressed with it. That's the same logic, same logic weather station. This model is the FT0835. And like, any product that I do a, a review or demonstration on, I'll put the link in the description if you are interested in picking one up as well. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Bye. On the Denman homestead Where the sun sets golden in the west We live in harmony with nature Doing what we love best From the garden to the kitchen And the bees inside their hive On the Denman homestead Come along and plant, nourish, thrive